If Ben Bernanke is not reappointed, the new Fed chairman will need an array of superpowers to contend with the economy's crafty villains. But what if no one person possesses all the powers the country needs? The only answer? Build the perfect central banker. Let's look at the five powers he or she will need. First, a crisis super shield. The new chairman will need galaxy-level crisis management skills to fend off financial shocks and other emergencies. Our superpower paragon here is Tim Geithner. He dealt directly with the immediate financial crisis as the New York Fed president and again with the aftermath and cleanup as Obama's Treasury Secretary. Next, a deflation deflector suit. The new chairman will need this to ward off a feared cycle of falling prices that could short-circuit the U.S. recovery. Our paragon, Fed Vice Chair Janet Yellen. She has the upper hand as the deflation fighter on the list, though there are worries that this power could backfire and allow inflation to get a foothold in the economy. Then, the new chairman will need economic laser vision, able to penetrate data to read patterns that dictate the right Fed policies. Superpower Paragon? Now, all of the top candidates but Geithner are trained economists, but Lawrence Summers is particularly respected for his economic acumen and intellect. And of course, our superhero chairman will need a balance sheet blaster. He or she will preside over the eventual shrinking of a massive balance sheet that could approach $4 trillion. Superpower Paragon? Former Fed Vice Chair Roger Ferguson would draw on solid Fed leadership, as well as experience presiding over a corporate balance sheet as CEO of TIAA CREF. And the last power, Wall Street Whisperer. The new Fed chair will need the crucial ability to pull monetary policy levers and use Fed language with enough subtlety and nuance to avoid spooking financial markets. Our superpower paragon, former Vice Chair Donald Cohn. With 40 years at the Fed under his belt, including the recent crisis, Cohn is a master of Fed messaging and the Wall Street expectations game. Both these powers together and a true economic superhero will be ready to take on any challenge in difficult times to come.